Hey guys, so we're, I was going through the grocery store and I saw these uh, meals ready to eat and uh, it made me think about when I was uh, in the military when I was young and be in the field and I had to eat these all the time and they were, so they were kind of gross but some of them were okay. There was a couple that a couple had like M&Ms in them so I saw this one, it's just spaghetti with beef and sauce and uh, I'm gonna see if my boys want to try it. Um, a couple of disclaimers, so these have a heating element inside, so I uh, recommend doing it outside so when we actually cook it, we're going to go outside and you'll see uh, what happens. So you don't have to use fire or anything like that, it's all self-contained, but we're going to go piece by piece. What do you think, Ian? Yeah. You ready to try some? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but I yeah, so, but these, these are the ones that the military, so like the Marine Corps, give out as the Department of Defense. There's other ones, there's like uh, other commercial ones that they have. They're, they're probably a little bit better tasting, but this one is the standard for the Marine Corps. So. Do you guys know what it's called, Ian? What's this called? Spaghetti meals? Yeah, it's called that's, that's MRE. The, MRE, meal ready to eat. So pretty much everything is edible, you don't have to heat it up, but if you have the time, you even want to make it a little board? bit more, uh, a little better you tasting, you can heat it up. Edible? The bowl? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're going to make a bowl. I'll show you how to make a bowl. Some stuff. So I'll show you some things that I used to do when I was in the in the field. So it comes like this. So we take it out of the package, right? Save this, right? So it comes in a whole bunch of, of things. So this right here, what do you think this is? The study. Not, not quite. This is the multi-grain snack bread. So this is like a, a loaf of it's bread. bread. Yep, this is bread. <laughs> right. What? It's so tiny. This is the uh, basically the condiments. So the beverage, we're gonna get a glass, but we're gonna make some uh, cranberry, cranberry grape drink. Cranberry grape drink, okay? Yeah, that was amazing. So, what else is in here, Ian? So here's the drink mix. So it's like Kool-Aid. Mm. Right. What's this? It's this What's this? What do you think this is, Ian? This is toilet paper. <laughs> Lighthouse toilet paper. You, well, maybe after you eat, you know, you might have to go to the bathroom. So instead of uh, wiping your bum with dirt or a leaf, they give you toilet paper. So I used to collect these all the time because you never know when nature calls. So what is this right here? This is, what's this, this is the moist towelette. It's a moist napkin, so you can clean your hands before you eat. So we're gonna use this to clean our hands. Dad, what do you actually use? It's toilet paper. Dad, like, if you did not have toilet paper, what here. will you wipe your butt with? Uh, <laughs> my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Ew. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably improvise. Maybe I would cut my shirt or something and use my shirt sleeve. See, look, it's toilet paper. What? Single what? ply, military what? grade. Why is it toilet paper? Because. So if times get desperate again, you can't find toilet paper. Yeah. You can't find an MRE. This is like survival. So like when we go out and into in the into country into a country that don't have like bathrooms or porta johns, and you're in the middle of the desert. You know, you're not gonna carry rolls of toilet paper. It's gonna be your MRE ready to go. So here's your toilet paper. Or if you want to use this, you can use the wet wipe. But we'll probably go to, we'll talk about that later about where you go to the bathroom when you don't have the bathroom. So there's toilet paper, Ian. Or tissue, what? tissue when you miss your family crying. <laughs> and your towelette. What's that, what else is in here? What's this, what do you think this is? I have no idea. This is the salt. Iodized, iodized salt. What's the other, like what's this? Okay, so this, so the clear one, see how it's red? That's cinnamon flavor, cinnamon flavor. And then the clear one, it's mint flavor. And they, so it's gum, it's cinnamon flavored gum. So supposedly people say the myth is that this has a laxative in it. Because if you eat a whole bunch of MREs and you don't drink enough water, you get constipated. So they put the laxative in the gum. I'm not sure if it's true. But so I always chew the gum afterwards. I don't want to get backed up. Oh, All right. Yeah. So here is the uh, this is the heater. So here's the heater. 
right? That's a piece, that's a bag. It's a bag, but it's got a heating element inside of it. So this one, once we get close, we're gonna explain how to use it. Nice spoon to eat. There you go, hold the spoon. One, okay. four, or just one. Mmm, what's this? The sauce. This is peanut butter. Uh, why peanut butter? This is the one thing that you need. They need it, you need it, they need it. So here you go, this is how you need it, like this, because it's it gets kind of clumpy. So you need it like that. All right. One. Who likes raisins? Me. There's some raisins too. You got raisins, so you How much fruit? food do they have inside? All right, there's lots of food. This is this one meal has over 2,000 calories. I feel raisins. All right, guys, this is another thing. So the milk chocolate cocoa beverage. All right, so this is hot chocolate. So this one you, we would probably actually eat, but they have pudding, they have like chocolate pudding and a milkshake, which I wouldn't recommend using. Supposedly they can irritate your stomach and make you feel sick. But this one's hot cocoa, so we might try this one. Might try to use a, um, the water packet to make a, to make some hot cocoa. You want some hot cocoa? Yeah, right. hot chocolate. And then this one is apple jelly. So apple jelly will go with your bread. Ooh. Uh -huh. And then this so one is. Mm, who likes yum, yum. who likes chocolate chip to, uh, uh, pop tarts? You like chocolate cho pop tarts? What? I never tried. Here, it. it's right here. I got some. No, I'm gonna go and get my penguin. Oh, oh, penguin. oh, we'll get that later. Okay. So who oh, likes? Who likes chocolate uh, pop tarts? Oh me! Yes, you can have some. Let's try all of this. All right. Even the bubble, even yep. the gum. And here's the yeah. here's the cardboard, and then this is the spaghetti. You want to feel it? What's it feel like? Heavy. Heavy. Mushy. Squishy, squishy mushy. What do you think? Oh, well, that's pretty heavy, huh? What is that piece of cardboard for? This is to help cook it. Does it get lit on fire? Nope, it doesn't. This is just to help keep the heating element against the, the spaghetti. And also, you know, it, it helps keep your hands from getting burnt. Okay, so what do you want to try first, guys? Peanut or jelly? Gum. Well, the gum, gum. I think the gum will be the last one. So, okay, let's go try. This is the peanut butter, and I choose the one they're trying. Okay. Here, this one's the uh, snack bread. Okay, ready? You gonna try Logan? Why is it so tiny? Why are they tiny? Here, smell it. What's it smell like? Uh, pop tart? Like a pop tart? There it is. Look at that. It's even shaped like a loaf of bread. It smells like a pop tart with nothing on it. There's on it. Yep, we're gonna put some peanut butter. Does, it's definitely not so pretty delicious. Uh, kind of. You gotta drink lots of water with it though. Why? Because it's uh, kind of dry. So these can last for a long, long time. I think they last for like 10 years, maybe. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this in three parts. So we each have a piece of bread to eat. Can I have a big piece? Sure. The middle piece is a big piece. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put peanut butter on all of them. Is the peanut butter good? Yeah, man. Is it normal peanut butter? Yeah, it's like regular peanut butter. Ah. Then the jelly. Yeah. Jordan. Hey, it kind of looks like a cake. Bread. bread yeah, cake oh, bread. Bread snack. So it's not like real bread, but it's made from the same. It's like real bread, it get all moldy, right? And this one's special bread. Yeah, it does not get moldy. Yeah, you want to try some of the peanut butter? There you go. Ah, this is good. Mm, Normal up? peanut butter. Here. How's that taste? Good. Now the jam. Okay, now the jelly. The jelly. Dad, Dad, does this look, Dad, is this your table when you actually first open up your bag? Very <laughs> top. Apple jelly. Okay. There is water right here. Here's Logies. I'm in the middle. Ooh. 
Oh, there's okay. Ian's and here's Daddy's. Okay, ready? One. You don't want to try it? Okay, take a bite. Mm. How is it? Good. Yeah, it's not too bad, huh? They're both from up the Is it moist or is it dry? Boy. Okay, you're gonna get your water, huh? Okay, what's the next thing you want to try? You want to try your... Once it gets in our stomach, it's soaked, right? Yeah. So next, you want to try some of this cranberry grape mix? Oh yeah! Mix. Oh yeah! I think it tastes like Kool-Aid. Here. So we got a couple of cups. Let here. me eat my, the rest of my... This. Okay, I think I have another slice of bread. So we got other stuff to eat. Yeah, I love Kool-Aid. Or here's the Kool-Aid. Oh, it smells pretty good, don't it? That's mine. Yeah. So we can get um, more filled. I gonna mix mine up. I got a spoon for you. Tell me what it says. Oh, it looks like Coca-Cola. It looks like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Uh huh. Okay. It smells good. What's smelling? Like? Oh, grape. Oh, it smells like grape. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Maybe you should save some for later. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, was it disgusting? No. <laughs> I can tell. All right. What's the next thing we're gonna try? Want to try some raisins? Yes, I wonder what you find. Are they just normal? I think they're regular, regular ones. Okay. Normal ones. I never tried it, the normal there ones, and the super one time. Here's the raisins. They're normal raisins, right? Okay, let's try them. Mmm. What do you taste mm. like? Normal raisins. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, these are like normal raisins. They have a little, little bit of a different taste. No, they taste they taste the same. All right, I know Logan's been waiting to get this one. This is the chocolate chip toaster pastry or a pop tart. You wanna try the chocolate pop tart? Oh yeah. Oh man. But nothing's for me. I'm all, I'm like already stuffed up. Okay. Cause I cause I ate a hot a nice hot dog. An MRE hot dog. I ate a real one. A real one? Okay, here's the... Hilarious. Chocolate chip hot dog. A choc I mean, not a hot A chocolate dog. chip hot dog. I mean, a chocolate chip one. Can I have these out of a tiny slice? All right, there's Logie's. Here's Ian's. You don't have to eat it all. Okay, guys. Ready? Yeah. Yes. One, two, three, go. Mmm. to you. The frosting's crunchy. There's like crunchy chocolate chips in it. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Good. You eat it every day? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, you cannot eat uh, these MREs um, for more than 28 days. So, typically, what we would do is uh, we would have one for breakfast, and then we'd have one for lunch. And then they would do like a big, it's called a T rat. And it's like a big multi, um, multi troop Mom, dinner. How much mommy and daddy? So, I know like after 28 days, they don't, they recommend trying to get like some fresh fruits and stuff like that just to kind of help the, the body regulate. Because I mean, these are not the best thing for you. And fresh food is always the best thing. Fresh vegetables and fresh fruit, huh? These are, just remember, these have been probably sitting on the shelf for a couple of years before we even get them. But they do the, they, they're good for what they're used for, especially when you're out there and have nothing. All right.
What else do we got? No, we don't need the salt. All right, this is the cocoa powder. So we're gonna take this outside in. All right. So make sure you hang on to this. Okay. So this is the heating element. So how do you think it works, Ian? Do we heat this? We will heat this. We'll heat it all together. How do you think this works? I have no idea. So I don't have a, I don't have a lighter. Here, come over here. How do you think this works? I don't know. I don't have a, I can't use fire because if I use fire at night, the enemy might find me. So what do you think I have that could help me make it hot? Yeah. What do you think I could use to make this hot? The sun? No. It's a good idea. This actually, you put cold water in it. Cold water makes it hot. Wow. That is, that it's a is chemical not, reaction, guys. That, that does not make sense. Hot so, water should make it. So this right here, there's like a little gray part in there. So you know, you know, if you ever use like hand warmers and you put them to the air, it makes them hot. Well, this one it reacts with the water, and once the uh, water touches it, it starts getting really, really hot. So. This right here, it, it causes vapors. So like the steam, it has a chemical reaction. So we always recommend doing it in a well-vented area or outside. So we're gonna take this outside and we're gonna show you how to put it all together. So now we're in our safe area. We're gonna try to heat up our spaghetti uh, with meat sauce. So this one, like I said before, it releases uh, um, gas, this hydrogen gas in the air, which is a flammable, flammable gas. And then um, the vapors are released when the water, uh, interacts or has a chemical reaction with the heater. Um, it's hot, so we gotta be careful that not to touch it. We be careful when we touch it. So we have this cardboard right here. And then after the heating, um, the pouch can be very, very hot. And then we're gonna discard the heater and bag after use. Um, cool fact is that uh, the MREs, you can actually bring them on the plane, but if the bag is open, you can't bring them on there and it's, uh, Federal, uh, federal offense to bring these heater elements in a bag that's already open. Um, and it also, don't drink the water that's in here, okay? So number one, we're gonna remove the MRE pouch, right? The MRE pouch and cardboard sleeve, all right? Is there cold water in there? No, this is the spaghetti. Okay, so we're gonna make sure it's kind of, so all I used to do is put, make sure everything's down in the bottom. So what I used to do is I just make sure everything was like down on the, the bottom right here. Because if you look, the, the, the pouch is a little bit bigger than the heat element. So just make sure it's kind of like evened out on the bottom. Right. Okay. And then we want to tear off the top of the heating element, like so. Yes, you're waiting. I can't. Nice. I'm reading the instructions. It says now holding the, uh, the MRE, you pour the water into the bag, which is to the spill line. Alright, there's a fill line right here. And then you slide the MRE in it and then you fold this down. So what I would do, because I wanted to have my hot chocolate with me, is uh and can eat it then not eat it. What? So then I can put pour hot chocolate on a penguin's head. Make sure you have a penguin. Yeah, make sure you have a coffee cup if you want. Yeah. I I I normally so use this for this. hot chocolate. I'm gonna put this in here, okay? And I'm gonna put it on the side and make sure you keep your MRE heater nice and straight. Reach in here. So I don't put the water in first because I like to adjust it. I don't want to be touching the heating element when it's getting really hot, okay? And then we're gonna put the hot cocoa in there. So I'm gonna open this up, okay? I'm gonna fill it, there's a little line here, and I'm gonna fill that full of water and shake it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm back. I got my hot cocoa here, and I need to shake it. Who wants to shake this for me? Me, me, me. No, Pamela wants to shake it. Okay, you shake it, Ian. Shake it. There's powder in there. You gotta shake it. It's already closed. Go ahead and shake it. No, come on. Yeah, come over here. Shake it. Shake it. shake it, take some of the air out of it, okay. 
It's got to get hot, son. Little King, we want to in him all right now. Okay. And then I got the I got the spaghetti on one side, and I'm gonna put the, the, the hot cocoa on the other side. See, I tried to do this with the water already in it. Probably getting burned right now. Cardboard, right? And um, you're right. Put your water in there. So how much water do you think you need? A lot? Or a little bit? I don't know. Just this much. Just a tiny bit. What? And you know, pour it in there. Oh, I almost came almost to the top. There you go. Okay? Can you fold it? And then you want to fold it up. Give it a little shake. Make sure the water's in there. a little bit of time for the, the water to react, right? You pour the water in, and then we put this uh, the paper, uh, this uh, cardboard on it, and it keeps everything together, and then you put it in an incline, so you gotta put it, it says here specifically a rock or something, so let's go find a rock or something. Okay! Gosh, let's be careful about the glass. Oh my gosh, the biggest. Is the rock. Oh. Or something, right? That's the biggest rock I can find in the backyard. Okay. The so it's starting biggest. to fill up with. It feels like it's starting to fill up with gas right now. Do you smell it? Do you smell that? Yeah. What does it smell like? Dad, you know, never it's starting put to work. Yeah. Daddy, it can might. So that's, the, that's the vapor that's Dad, coming out. Dad, you know, out. all the gas can actually might make a huge explosion. That's right, it's called, that's hydrogen gas that's getting released. It might make the big, a super big explosion. All right, so it's been about like five minutes. Ian's getting rocks for me, all right? So, okay, so you remember how you put the water in, it gets really hot? So yeah. tell me, can you, can you kind of smell it? Do you smell it? Do you smell that? I don't smell anything. What does it smell like? I, well, now I smell it. Does it smell, kind of, does smell, it smell good or smell bad? Smells good. Super good. That smells like a heating element to me. That, make, that tells me that's working. Okay, guys, go right here real quick. Just touch it. Is it hot? Yep. Is it hot? Oh, yeah. So we just put water in it, and now it's getting really hot. So we gotta put it on this rock. Was it warm water? Nope, it was cold. Remember this water right here? Mmm. It makes it nice and hot. And now as we wait, so you still have this uh, package, right? So what I learned, so it taught me, is that you can actually use this. You can make a bowl out of it, so like this. Basically, like, you're rolling it down. So that's why it came in that huge package. I used to do this a lot when I had a chili. So you have a chili MRE, chili mac. And then you would have, uh, in the chili mac, in the, in the MRE, you would have Cheez-Its. What I used to do is I'd put the chili mac in the bowl and then I'd crumple up, I'd crumple up my cheese it's and put it on top and then it had a little bottle of Tabasco and then I put Tabasco sauce in it. I'm gonna make the best chili mac. Alright guys. Bill Payne was trying to jump the chicken. So now we're we're gonna wait for maybe like another 15 to 20 minutes to make sure it's nice and hot. Okay guys, it's been about 10 minutes, so the spaghetti's still heating up, but I think the hot cocoa is ready to go, so we're going to take this out. Is it hot? Oh, uh, you tell me. Feel it. Is it hot? Warm. Nice and warm? What do you think? Oh, very oh. hot. Whoa. Warm. 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 It's, it's not even hot anymore. Okay, it's the hot cocoa. It's warm. Pour some in the ping one. Oh, it's the spaghetti's at the soup very bottom top. Yeah, yeah. So you can try some. Is it hot? I'm gonna go and get one piece of ice for mine. Okay. 
So I, we, Ian put his ice cube in his hot chocolate. He smells it. What's it smell like? What's it taste like? Chocolate, chocolate. Does it taste like hot chocolate? Okay, here, Ian. This thing's getting really hot now. Put this back in here. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit longer. Okay, guys. So I'll feel it in. Does it feel hot now? It feels pretty hot. As warm as you're gonna get, right? Right up here, it's cold. Oh, but, but there's the cold. The food is down here. So can you smell it? it smells <laughs> pretty good. It smells like spaghetti. <laughs> So it's, I think it's ready to go. So where do we put it's the got trash? some, uh, your wet wipe was kind of dirty. Good thing you wash your hands. So there's the heater in it. It's really hot, so be careful when you pull it out. So keep the cardboard. Okay. And there's another, you can, there's a little slit in here, so you can take, okay, pull it out. The heater's really hot still. Feel it, is it hot? Yep. Dick, so, can you take the heater out? Yeah, the heater's out. So we made their. Oh, you want to feel it too? No, no, no. Okay. I but there's two ways you can eat it. Out. So if you want, if you're, if you want, you can put it back in this little sleeve, and it has a bottom, and then you cut the okay. top off, and you can eat it like this, with your spoon, right? Or, yeah. like we made before, we had this little bowl. Yeah. Okay. I put it on your head as a hat. That falls I'll put off. it on your head as a hat. And it falls off. So here we go. What do you think it's gonna look like, Ian? Yeah, I'm being blind now. Here, we're gonna pour it into. Hey, what do you think it's gonna look like, Ian? Hold the bowl, Ian. You hold the bowl. The hat bowl. Get the hat bowl. Oh, boy, it looks like. Do they actually know this is getting? Let's see. Oh. Is it a skeddy meatballs? Those are meatballs. Ooh. That smells pretty good. Smells like a rare meat. Ooh, hot. Mmm, <laughs> there's your dinner. Okay. Real dinner? Yep. Okay, Ian. Can we try some? Yeah. My dog. Hot, hot, hot. Is it good? Yeah. Good. Is it really good? Yeah. Is it better than you expected? Yeah. Is it hot? Yes. I guess the Super heater worked. Hot. I guess yeah, the heater cooked worked. it. Wow. That's amazing. You didn't even need an oven or anything. Mm -hmm. Beauty, like... You can even cook it in the middle in the middle like of Chef Boyardee. Mm. Now, do they actually use this in super you love cold, Chef super, Boyardee. Super cold places? Oh yeah. Because it's super easy to get cold water, right? So then this part you just throw away, throw it in a trash can. If it doesn't get hot enough, it's gonna catch fire. But the thing we used to do, it would be really, really cold in the morning. You could take this and you would put it in your jacket and it'd be a heater, you know, heat it to keep us warm. Pretty cool, huh? It needs to stay hot for a long time. <laughs> a very long so, time? So, what do you think, Ian? Cool. You wanna have another one? Yeah. Yeah? Have lots of different ones. They have lots of yeah. different ones. They have like breakfast ones, they have, uh, like I said, chili mac. Chicken and dumplings. Um, yeah. Yeah. Penne, the, spicy penne pasta. Gum? This one looks like yeah. I remember. Can I have the bubble gum now? Oh. Right. Yeah, have your bubble gum. What flavor is this, remember? Uh, cinnamon? Cinnamon. So supposedly. I really love the mint. I, the, I guess these ones have, I think the gum, like I said before, these supposedly have laxatives in them. So here you have one. <laughs> so Ian, you have to use the bathroom. It's because of the gum. Ready? Are we supposed to swallow it? No. Just spit it out. Is it good? Minty? Minty. Okay. I'm like sucking the flavor. Mm. Oh, good. Well, cool. Right, I well. pulled it well. down with my, my teeth and I'm it stuck on it. Thanks for watching, Bear Crew. Make sure to subscribe. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.